What up everybody, it's me Blake316 and it seems to be that time of the year where the year is coming into an end and I'm basically telling you guys my top 5 games of 2012. Like always, this is kind of a discussion topic so feel free to post a video response giving your top 5 games of the year or just leave a comment if you want. Like always, I prefer a video response. I feel it helps get other people's channels out there when other people see it and I'm always curious to see a video of other people who watch my videos. But with that being said, 2012, in my opinion, wasn't the greatest year of gaming. I mean, there were some games that I really did like, and then there were definitely some games that I wasn't that interested in and I definitely passed on. But a new console did come out, the Wii U, which is definitely a plus in gaming. But in my top five games of 2012, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm uh, pretty sure a lot different than some other people's. I'm definitely sure I have some surprises in there. Just to give a quick rundown of my previous top games of the year. In 2011, my top game of the year was Portal 2. In 2010, was Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Nintendo Wii. So it's definitely some variety. And you might be surprised what I picked this year. Then again, you might not be. But I'm going to start with number 5. And like I said, my top 5 list definitely will be a surprise. And this is definitely going to wow a few people. But my number 5 top five games of 2012 is no other than Temple Run. <laughs> yes, I am serious. This game actually made my top five games of 2012. This is no other than, um, obviously, a mobile app. It's a, a mobile game. And in my opinion, this game is as addicting as hell, and I absolutely enjoyed it. Yes, this game did release in December of 2011, but when it did release to... Uh, you know, the mobile apps, it was released in January 2012, which is why I'm including it in my top five. Granted, this is not a crazy hard game. I find it extremely addicting, which is why it made my top five. Um, it is a free game. I would never pay for a mobile game a day in my life. But with that being said, that it is free and I do play it quite often, especially if I'm sitting on the toilet and I need to kill some time. This is definitely a game I play. It's nothing too hard, but it's basically a maze game. You try not to run in things like I did like there. But this is my number five game of 2012. Now my number four game of 2012 is definitely going to be another shocker to you guys and a lot of you guys will probably find it unbelievable that I put this game in my top five games of 2012. But the gifts game that is number four is no other than Gotham City Imposters. Yes, this game has made my top five games of 2012. And yes, it's only a DLC downloadable game. And I honestly don't like DLC games, but I took my chance on this game, and I absolutely love this game for what it is. Granted, it's only a $15 game, only available on PSN, Xbox 360, and it's also available on PC. There's no campaign. What it strictly is is online-only, first-person shooting. There's no campaign. There is Team Deathmatch. There is sort of a capture the flag, and there's also... Um, domination type game modes and I honestly really enjoyed this game for what it was. I mean you pay $15 for a game that's strictly downloadable only, online only, and it's fast paced gameplay. I mean granted it's not as in depth as like Call of Duty or Halo or any other first person shooter but like I said you pay $14 for it and it's just a fun 6 on 6 first person shooter. I, one thing I really like it is such a change from other first person shooters because a lot of these first person shooters seem to be like copying Halo. Granted, this has loadouts and, and, and whatnot. It just feels like unique and it feels like its own. It's extremely fast. The gameplay elements are completely different than any other first person shooter out there in my opinion. And I honestly just enjoy this game. I would recommend this game. I haven't played it in quite some time so I don't know how populated the online community is at this time as I speak, but for the time when I was playing it, I definitely had fun. And number four on my list of top 2000, my top five 2012 games of the year is Gotham City Imposters. I told you there would be some surprises in my top five this year. Now the number three in the third game of my top five games of 2012 might still surprise a lot of people and it definitely might make a few people angry which I don't know why because this is my opinion and you're definitely feel free to post a video response of your top five games of 2012. But number three on my top five games of 2012 is 
Actually, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yes, this game made my top 5 this year. Now, don't call me a Call of Duty fanboy because last year Modern Warfare 3 didn't make my top 5. And I don't even think Black Ops 1 made my top 5 the previous year. I'm not too sure. But Black Ops 2 is number 3 on my list. The reason being, I made a video about this game and I honestly feel this is the best Call of Duty game ever made. Granted, the campaign sucks in my opinion, but the online campaign, I mean, excuse me, the online multiplayer is the best yet. And I honestly believe they fixed all the problems that I wanted them to fix, and I honestly feel it's the best online multiplayer. I mean, that this is my top five of 2012, and this is my opinion. This is why Call of Duty Black Ops 2 makes number three of my top five games. Now, the second game of my top five games of 2012 is definitely a shocker and it probably won't even make a lot of people's top five lists at all. But it is number two on my list. And my second game in the top five games of 2012 is Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed. I absolutely love the first Sonic All-Star Racing and Transformed, in my opinion, is just as good and if not better. I honestly love this game. I think it's a great game. If you love kart racing, this is definitely the way to go. Forget Little Big Planet Racing. Forget uh, any of those PlayStation racing games. And this right now, a lot of people would say it's on par with Mario Kart. I would honestly say that this game is better than Mario Kart on the Wii and maybe the 3DS. This game is that good. With Transformed, it has new elements where the you drive a car, it transforms into a plane, then it transforms into a boat. It's honestly a really good game, and I honestly really enjoy it. I mean, there was one stage where you're pretty much on a battleship, where you're driving on a battleship as you're supposed to take off like a plane, then you're flying through the air, and then you go into the water. It's just constant action, it's constant movement. Granted, the weapons are kind of weak in this version compared to the first one, but that being said, I still think it's a really good game, and I'm having tons of fun playing this game to the point that it's number two on my top five games of 2012. Now, I don't know if that's because I really like this game, or there was just a lot of games I didn't like, but regardless, it still made my top five, and it's actually number two. And now, the number one game, the top spot of my top five games of 2012, Really shouldn't be a surprise to people. If you know me, I made a video about it, how great I thought this game was. I said it was going to be the game of the generation. It might not be game of the generation, but it's definitely game of the year. Halo 4 makes my number one game of my top five games of 2012. I mean, what can I say? I, I personally love the Halo series. I absolutely love four-player co-op Halo. I think it's no game touches four player co-op in Halo. Only thing that came close was Gears of War 3 with their four player co-op. But if you can get four player co-op with any Halo game, 3, ODST, and a Halo 4, it's guaranteed to have a fun experience with your friends. With that being said, the campaign was great and the online was polished, it was updated, it was new, and it felt like Halo all at the same time. I absolutely love the online and I love the campaign with new additions of Spart Spartan Ops, they uh, added some new Forge modes. I genuinely really enjoyed this game, which is why it's my top game of 2012. So, with that being said, number four was, no, excuse me, number five was Temple Run. Number four is Gotham City Imposters. Number three was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Sonic All Star Transformed was number two. And number one is Halo 4. And these are my top five games of 2012 that I had the opportunity to play and that I feel are the best games that I played in 2012. With that being said, I'm definitely open to know what other people's top five games are. Please leave a video response. Feel more than welcomed. Uh, if not, just leave a comment. It's me, Blake 3 6 with my top five games of 2012. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Blake 3 6 Follow me on Twitter, Blake 3 6 And like the Facebook page, Blake 3 6 Until next time, well... To, onto another year of gaming. Peace.